what's up guys techno review here and taking a look at the new smartphone from xiaomi this is redmi 3s so we have come up with the 16 gigabyte variant of redmi 3s as we had seen many videos on youtube on the redmi 3s prime which is a 32 gigabyte model but we haven't seen much videos on redmi 3s which is the 16 gigabyte model so we had come up with this variant and those buyers who want to buy redmi 3s 16 gigabyte model which cost around 6000 bucks in india this video will help Help you a lot so first of all as you can see the box itself and flipping the box we have got some specifications of the smartphone which will come on the later part of this video and we have got a branding which says made in India so we'll quickly cut the seal on both ends of the box and it has also got a plastic which covers the box of the smartphone so we'll remove the plastic from all the sides and we'll unbox the product so by removing the front cover we can see the phone itself and we have got 5 inch IPL LCD panel which is of 720 HD display. On the back side we have got nothing but some stickers and the camera. So we'll keep the phone aside and we'll take a look at the accessories. We have got an envelope like Apple style and we have got few stuffs inside like the quick start guide and some terms and conditions with the SIM ejector tool or the SIM removal tool which we'll take a look in the later part of the video. So we have got few other stuffs like the charger. You can see we have got a standard charger and this is a 5 volt 2 ampere charger and we have got the USB cable so as you can see this is the phone and it looks really great from here and um, the one hand usage of the phone will be really great we'll be removing the plastic from the back side and as you can see the SAR value over here which is 0.617 so it's far below than the India SAR limit so we'll quickly remove the plastic just over the camera and now I'll quickly give you a specification overview of the smartphone so this is Redmi 3s and it has got an octa-core CPU and the chipset used is Snapdragon 430 and it has also got a 2 gigabyte RAM which for some user may be a problem but I think it's not that much of a problem as because it can run high-end HD games on your device without any problem but if you are a heavy multitasker then it can be a pain in the ass. As you can see in front we have got a 5 in 720p HD IPS LCD screen which has deep blacks and vivid bright colors. Also we have got Adreno 505 GPU and a 16 GB internal storage which is really a problem on this Redmi 3S as because if you install 3 or 4 HD games like Nova 3, Asphalt 8 and Modern Combat 5 then you may fall short of storage. On the front we have got a 5 megapixel camera and it has also got a SIM tray with support dual sim and in this smartphone we have got a hybrid kind of a solution for the sim tray and we'll check out the hybrid solution later on this video it also supports micro sd card on the slot 2 of the sim tray which supports micro sd up to 256 gigabytes at the back we can see a 13 megapixel rear camera and we have also got a 4100 mh massive battery on this device which promises to keep you running for two days with moderate usage so now I'll quickly give you a physical overview of the smartphone so on the front over here we can see the three capacitive buttons which doesn't lit up and on the front also we have got a 5 megapixel selfie camera with the earpiece and on the back we have got a 13 megapixel face detection autofocus camera and with the LED flash and on the bottom side we have got the speaker grill with MI branding so here you can see the speaker grill and these are the MI brandings and some stuffs over here and on the bottom we have got a micro USB port with the microphone and on the top we have got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and also we have got an IR blaster over here with an noise cancellation microphone and it's really great having an IR blaster on a smartphone which cost around 7000 Indian rupees on the right we have got the sleep or power button with the volume rockers we don't have anything else on the right side of the phone and on the left side we have got nothing but the sim card tray which will show you now so we'll quickly open the sim card tray with the sim ejector tool provided in the box so you just need to insert the sim ejector tool and into push it and the sim card tray will open up and over here we can see on the sim one we can use a micro sim and on the sim 2 we can use a nano sim card which will act as a dual sim and also we can use a sd card so we'll use sim 1 for our micro sim and we'll use 
SIM 2 port for our micro SD card. So we'll just quickly push it inside and it's locked. So now we'll quickly boot the phone and we'll take a quick look on MI UI on Redmi 3S. So here you can see it has booted up and we got MI UI 7. So we will quickly select our region and we'll quickly set up the device for the first time. So as you can see our device has booted up for the first time on the smartphone and the UI is really smooth. So we'll quickly get into settings and from here we'll get into about phone and as you can see it runs on android 6.0 which is marshmallow and over it it has got miui 7 so here you can see marshmallow we will get into display from here and we will switch off automatic brightness and we'll lower the brightness so that you can see the screen properly and on the colors and contrast over here you can see we have got some preset and also we can select the color contrast from standard cool and warm so we'll keep it on standard for now and on pinching the home screen you'll get into some options widgets wallpapers we'll get into wallpapers and we'll quickly change the wallpaper to a brighter one so that we can check out the screen quality properly so here you can see we'll set the wallpaper and here you can see the screen quality of the smartphone is really good. I would say that those users who want to buy an Android phone costing around 7000 bucks, you can go for this smartphone as because it has got enough juice for you to keep up running uh, for two days as it has got a 4100 image battery and a big display with a decent specification so i would really suggest users who want to buy a new smartphone under that budget then you can go ahead and buy redmi 3s it is available from flipkart.com and also from miindia.com i will share the links on the description of this video so you can purchase the smartphone from the links provided in the description but the phone is available through flash sale on flipkart and mi india website so the next sale will be on 7th of this month so guys that's all for the unboxing and quick look at the redmi 3s we'll be covering the camera review and also the gaming review on this smartphone so stay tuned for that and that's all for this video and if you like this video then do hit the like button down below and also subscribe to our channel and i'll catch you guys on the next one